Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to some Overwatch on Target of Carl. I uh, this is Thursday. Normally I'm um, taking it easy on today and not streaming, but uh, I got the energy. I can just play at least a few rounds of Overwatch. Uh, I uploaded my new videos for the uh, my. Uh, review on Cowboy Bebop, Ryan the Last Dragon, my live commentary for Delia's War episodes, the first two episodes of season one. Uh, you can check all that out on my YouTube channel, Talking of Carl, just so you guys know. It was fun, um, something I've been uh, building up to for a while, and I finally, you know, got around to it and wrapped it up. And I just want to let you guys know here. That I will just not play any more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, this is like uh, it's dragging so much. It's padded out. It's boring as sin. So like, I'm just you know I'm I'm done with it. It's unfortunate, but you know Ubisoft was like, and I'm not like I'm talking with a lot of people, and they're all in consensus in 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 agreement with me that. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's like a you know long game. They all agree with me. Like long games, like Ghost of Tsushima, it's tight. Uh, it might be a long game, but it's a tight narrative, and the side quests involve, like I've been talking about before, and I'll say it again. Fed into the story's narrative where it doesn't feel like like lame fetch quest kind of thing, you know. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. Mm. The true enemy of humanity is disorder. So yeah, I'm just done with it. I am not Delicate playing anymore. Online. I have opened the bar. Yeah, I'm not playing any more uh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed games seconds. anymore. Order will be restored. Raksha Pranali Samarigit Karma. Karma Clock. Five, four, three. One. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. I cast this door. in place. Sentry deployed. Raksha Pranali Samaritit Kata. From light into being. Sentry turret placed. Sentry online. This will heal you. Not ready. This will be good. I can do it. The king of Arambasta Victor Hill. No one can hide. 
in place. My thanks. Enemy seen. Death is an illusion. Um, um, I mean, uh, hey, ass, uh, what's my best character lore in the in Overwatch, what do you mean? Like, what's my best character, or like in general? Onwards to victory! Come summon your Uh, I mean, who has the best backstory in Overwatch? Uh, uh, I think May. Because if you watch that, because I remember watching that doggone uh, cinematic little trailer of hers way back when. That got me. But then Hongo and uh, Genji, their little story uh, is like very interesting. Yeah, so it's like, a, well then, then it's like Winston, Story, and Tracers, but, uh, but I gotta go with May. I think May slightly over everybody else, but then like right below her will probably be uh, 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 Genji and Hanzo's little tie-in together. Yeah, that, that seems like ideal. I mean, what about you? Like, what's who's like had the best backstory in Overwatch in your opinion? Because I honestly think this uh, Overwatch should be like a TV show. Like, because you can't tell it in like a solid movie. Because I love Borderlands and I cannot wait for that movie. But I think Borderlands now probably that narrative probably is best suited for a TV show because there's so much stuff to talk about. I don't think you can condense it in like a two hour film. Honestly. Select your hero. <laughs> I love McCree, but it's like I, I don't know, his uh His story is alright. I mean he just the other stories that I mentioned kind of got me in the feels, you know? Because, like, I think, because like, uh, they're making a Borderlands movie. And I like, you know, what I'm hearing, but the thing is, like, unless they're doing obvious, obvious uh, sequels, uh, but I don't know, it just seems like more of like a TV show narrative. Just like with Destiny, Destiny definitely has a... Destiny uh, has like a great narrative for... Well, either way, I mean, it like depends on the director and like the writing involved. But it's just that... I don't know, it's just like it's so much. And so many, I guess that's the thing. There's so many characters. And, like, you know, somebody's gonna get overshadowed if you're doing it in a movie. I mean, 
Just like with the whole uh, uh, Mortal Kombat movie, like they're leaving out Johnny Cage for for uh, for uh, Christ's sake. Of course, they um, probably uh, waiting for like a sequel to allow him to be in that, but I don't know. Cause like then you got multiples, you get uh, uh, you get the chance to have like multiple uh, seasons, and you can like easily. You get to have multiple seasons. You want to get like uh, a chance to really get like a deep dive into these uh, characters that you wouldn't in like a movie. Uh, I think it's uh, the new uh, the Overwatch 2, in which they gave, gave us an actual release date because we, it feels like we've been waiting for that for at least a few years, like at least three or four years at this point. Uh, I'm like what I'm hearing. I know I probably talked about this in like a couple of videos ago, but uh, I barely remember what uh, they talked about. I know it's like new uh uh things uh changes like when uh reinhardt with a little boost move where you can like uh uh, uh like uh the rocket zone is back pushes him forward you can actually stop whenever you want to which is like a nice little change And um and um what's his name? Uh Soldier 76, you know, with his little healing uh thing, his circle follows him and it pushes back enemies. At least by like a uh like a few inches. That's like a nice little change of pace.
Checking in. Oh yeah, the skill tree thing. But I'm not sure if that's for the overall game for anything you do, but or just a particular uh, uh, campaign you choose to be involved in. Subscribers on my YouTube channel, like, I appreciate like everyone involved, man. It's mostly because of my uh, chaotic videos. Uh, it probably got the one of one of the videos probably got the most views because there's so much love for if you haven't played or watched the TV show Chaotic back in the day. There's like this uh, cat creature type of uh, uh, lady called Interest. Man, there's so much love for that uh, character. But uh, who do you think is the most OP character? Is mm, I think Roadhog slightly because that damn hook thing sometimes. Because when I played him, I felt like you know I could definitely do freaking anything. And uh, Bastion, somewhat. Welcome to Paris. Yeah, I've also been keeping up with like some like voice acting Select auditions and stuff. I just wrapped up a couple of auditions earlier today. About to, I was just about to choose Jesse. I'll go with uh, Hanzo. With every death comes honor. With honor, redemption. I'm not one for standing around. You know, just, you know, you gotta do what you love kind of thing, you know? And I know I probably brought it up before, but, you know, I wouldn't have been doing this if it wasn't for the uh, encouragement of a friend of mine uh, way back in um, 2019, mid-2019. You know she said like, you know, hey, you right? play video games all the time anyway, might as well uh, record it kind of thing. And it kind of turned out well, at least uh, like a nice little combo with the uh, voice acting stuff I wanted to do. Where is everybody? The Kaya was like a show, pretty much like a piggybacking off of Yu-Gi-Oh in some fashion, but it was like the card game in like a, uh, like a, like a cyber something like a, what's it, cyberverse kind of like a, uh, it's on YouTube, you can watch it for free on YouTube. 
to find the, the DVD versions of it anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a card game, but you get to uh, travel inside like a... get like to travel inside like uh, uh you know four kids four friends like are in like some kind a of like, uh, setback. like the the it's a card game that people play in like in real life it's like a big thing back in the day uh like early 2000 stuff like around like 2003 is when it started like, i think oh. Darn it. Like if you Never ever watched so Tron or the old TV show Reboot, it's pretty much like if you play Yu-Gi-Oh in like the Tron universe kind of way. Defeated so easily. My favorite character from anything? Uh, I would say is in my anime stuff. Cause, well, well, not necessarily. I like Dante from Devil May Cry, my favorite video game character of all time. But I do love uh, See, Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh, Naruto, and. Uh, and Pikachu from Pokemon. See you later. Locked. My arrow's flying to them. My ultimate is ready. <sighs> I am restored. The point is mine. You're welcome to join me. Now, hold on. Who's I got the eye? Myself. What about you, Ash? You think you got a, like, uh, at least a good few favorite characters from, like, fiction at all? I did not help at all. Play of the game. It's um... Dick Grayson. I think you mentioned that before, did you not?
traveling to Iconville. Yeah, it's only been like, like uh, I started last month with the on-camera discussion videos. I just finished up a few, a uh, couple of days ago. Because I'm going to be doing a lot more like uh, TV show reviews. Because... Um, I'm gonna be re-watching, uh, well, I'm gonna do per season, uh, I'm gonna do like, uh, I'm right now re-watching the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Duelist Kingdom arc, and I'm gonna be watching some, uh, the first season of Jackie Chan Adventures, and then, uh, some point next month I will be giving my review on that. And pause it on my YouTube channel. There we go. 
Kills. Victory. You think it's not a just like better than the last? I mean, I heard uh, reports Game of it of being game. good because uh, somebody was watching like the new Tom and Jerry movie on this girl Max, and somehow, some way, uh, the individual part, part the least uh, what's up, I don't know if it was like an hour or so, like at least like less than an hour's worth of the uh, movie. And um, they, you know, said for what they saw, it was you know, pretty decent. Definitely better than what was shown from the original Justice League. So it's promising. I just wish Zack Snyder stopped posting crap and let everybody be surprised about what's going to be seen. Because like you're telling most of the movie, man. Like the whole stuff with like Joker stuff, like you know. Chick, just leave that be and let us be surprised. Welcome to Paris. Your it's been a while since I used May. I'm really gonna get back to using her. And May is hot. She reminds me of my ex-girlfriend back in the day. Our world is worth fighting bottom. for. Activating the barrier. I said like my ex was because May is Korean. Uh, my ex was like half black, half Filipino. <laughs> Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. But roughly the same thickness. I like them thick.
Nolan or Sam Raimi? Nolan. I love Sam Raimi. I love the Spider-Man. Original Spider-Man movies because, I mean, I'm a Tommy McGuire of uh, purist because he, despite, you know, the, uh, what ended up happening in the Sam Raimi stuff. The Nolan uh, tri Batman chose you, like he hit it right off the park, man. That's like despite, you know, despite, you know, you know, three, but, you know, how three was uh, with, with the Bane stuff. I mean, it's a slight dip in quality coming from um, Dark Knight into the, uh, you know, Dark Knight Rises. But still, like, he wrecked it up pretty nicely, all things considered. Play of the game. And it's like, it's like it's been solid, like at least all, all three has been solid. And I talk about that in my uh, uh, favorite DC films and my favorite Marvel uh, films on my YouTube channel when I'm, you know, this is my first, one of my uh, few first on-camera discussion videos. And I gave a good decent time into like the Nolan Trilogy uh, films and my favorite DC uh, films of all time. So yeah, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can check all that out. But yeah, I think like, you know, Nolan, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's others, but I think Nolan's the only one I can think of that did. When they did like a do like a trilogy, it maintained a solid trilogy, excluding like like the whole uh, universe building like MCU. Excluding all that, I think the uh, Nolan trilogy were were solid with all three. If Tim Burton would have kept going with Batman I think uh, he would have had like a, a solid you know movie because I love Batman 1 and 2 despite some people like not I mean like granted like at least back in the day like you know a lot of parents of the time didn't Death think it was like a culture I guess that you know it's like overtly like uh, not graphic but it's like uh uh, it's like uh, borderline BDSM kind of stuff going on with uh, Catwoman and, and like uh, dropping people off of buildings and all these other stuff. So, I mean, I can see why they kind of like had like a little, they had to kid it down a bit because of that. Because they can't have uh, because you honestly can't have uh. your fellow villain from anything I like the Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin move out Killmonger is definitely up there Thanos up the Keith Ledger's Joker is amazing 
Uh, I mean, those are just tippy top. Seeing the shadow. Push off. thing back see that's the thing about like otherwise when the payload needs to be moved back and we all here move the thing back Raza Go, I forgot about him. Yeah, Liam Neeson as Raza Go was amazing, man. And when you talk about comics, I think uh, in the past couple of years, that like since DC Rebirth, I think like the new stronger. villain, but now I guess hero or anti-hero, I'm not sure where he stands at this point, because uh, he went through an arc, but Gatsby, one of like Flash's villains. You know, Gatsby was amazing. If you haven't uh, uh, been following like DC, Flash rebirth check out that because it looks like he leads into like uh <laughs> Move out. 
positioning. Enemies now. Oh, 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 Wait to that. Maximum power. match. Weird how some play of the games happen. Okay. Well, that's it for today. I just want to like, uh, fool around a bit. I didn't want to do any kind of uh, walkthroughs today. Speaking of which, I had to like. Uh, do a few course correct. My Ghost of Tsushima walkthrough, there's a couple of videos I forgot to put titles on, which kind of threw me because I was putting in some, um, some stuff, uh, in so it made it easier to people to find my videos for those. And I just now realizing, like, oh my god, I can't believe I did not input like titles for a couple of these uh, videos. Like, I, was, I felt so embarrassed. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but moving forward, I, you know, because I'm learning as I'm going along when it comes to, like, uh, streaming a lot of videos. And I have some friends that clue me in on certain things I can tweak here and there as far as, like, uh, uh, 
like when I'm doing my videos, not making them like extremely long, but I know that, but I like to keep my extra long videos for like when I got games like Ghost of Tsushima or Final Fantasy VII Remake I needed to do. Those are known to be long games and I can't regulate those to be just an hour long uh, uh, all the time because I want to make sure they're, you know, you know, get done relatively, you know, in a timely fashion. I don't want to last an all freaking year, you know what I mean? But my other games, other than that, I regulate them to like 40 minutes to an hour here and there. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of course correct I had to do with uh, my videos, but moving forward, it should be good and make sure it's easy to find my videos from moving forward. But uh, thank you for joining me for sticking around. This is just like a little quick thing. I just uh, didn't, I just kind of felt like hopping into Overwatch today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to uh, doing like a walkthrough with Darksiders 2. I'll probably be wrapping it up. If not tomorrow, definitely Saturday. Then I'll be going back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And then Devil May Cry 5. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think there's those those three. Oh, and then I, I think I'll be doing like a th uh, 40 minutes of Mortal Kombat 11. So I can hop into a couple of videos I did in, in the past week. Where with just Sub-Zero, my favorite Mortal Kombat character. I'm going to be doing like a couple of videos per character, at least characters I'm interested in, up until the point of the Mortal Kombat movie, because uh, it comes out a week before my birthday. Uh, so it's going to be like all Mortal Kombat stuff, that you know, leading up. So and tomorrow, or at least this weekend in general, I will, I will be doing a couple of videos for just playing around with Scorpion. Then after that, I will try out Kano. Cause I, I tried using Kano in Mortal Kombat 10 and I didn't like it, so I'm gonna give him a tryout in Mortal Kombat 11 and see how he is. Uh, so, uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you later, Ash, and anybody who's jogged by, thank you. And, um, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow for some new videos. Take care.